I first got into Pokemon pretty much since day one over here in the UK. The first ever sort of bit of media of Pokemon I, I came in contact with was on SMTV Live on a Saturday morning. I remember my dad wanted to watch the F1 qualifying. I really wanted to watch this new episode of this new cartoon. And uh, like the good man he is, he let me watch Pokemon episode one. He must have been thinking, what the hell is this stuff? While this sort of six, seven year old me was sitting on the sofa in awe like, this is amazing. Uh, and ever since then, I haven't looked back. Obviously had a Game Boy and Pokemon Blue and that was, that was it. And yeah, <laughs> here I am now in the midst of generation eight. I think it says it all. I first got into Pokemon when I was probably around five. Uh, my grandma bought me a Game Boy and Pokemon Yellow. I absolutely hated that game at the time because I didn't understand it. I wasn't any good at it and it was, you know, not meant for me where I was playing games at the time. Uh, but that's where I first learned how to play Pokemon. And then I got Pokemon Gold the next year and that's where I really fell in love. Pokemon Gold is where I really started taking Pokemon seriously and haven't put it down since. I first got into Pokemon when I was three years old. I had a VHS tape of the original series, but I didn't really get into it, I just watched it. I really got into it when Diamond and Pearl was first airing and I would watch that every single day. It was like my favorite show when I was younger. I first got into Pokemon when I was around seven or eight, somewhere around there. It was when Pokemon Crystal was first coming out and that was such a fun game to play, and I, it just got me hooked into more Pokemon games in the future. When did I first get into Pokemon? It's actually kind of an interesting story. Um, uh, it's kind of sad. Uh, my grandma passed away, and the last gift she gave me was a copy of Pokemon Ruby version. And it happened to be the first game that I was that I could say it was my game. You know, it was very special to me. Um, it was, uh, she bought me my first Game Boy, and then she bought me my first Game Boy Advanced, and my first Game Boy Advanced SP, and I never was allowed to play Pokemon as a little kid for some weird reason, and then when your grandma buys you something, your mom and dad are like, oh, well, grandma bought it, you gotta play it now, so they were like, okay, you can play Pokemon now. It was really weird, I, it, it was a really weird situation, but my grandmother bought me the game, and um, that was like her like last wish was for me to enjoy a game that I've always talked about. I was like, hey, you know, grandma, I'm really, really excited to play this game. My mom and dad won't let me so she bought it for me and you know wrote a note saying hey let my let my baby boy play this so it's a very special thing that pokemon ruby copy i still have it's a, it's a really precious to me i've spent hours hundreds of hours on it it's insane it's insane <laughs> i kind of pokemon when i was it's probably like as long as i can remember um i grew up with pokemon red and blue on the game boy and it really just continuously escalated from there. Um, there was definitely a little bit of a point where I did take a break, however. Um, I'd never had a DS growing up. I had a Game Boy Advance, so that's when I really got my first Pokemon game that belonged to me and just me, which was Pokemon Ruby. However, I never, I did not play the Gen 4 games really. I picked up a DS Lite when I started working and everything, started making my own money, and I picked up Heart Gold. And that's what kind of drew me back into Pokemon in general. Um, I eventually did replay. I eventually did play the Sinnoh games. However, um, I got more involved in the Unova games, and this kind of ties into the next question, which is: I first got into Pokemon when I was eight years old, when I watched the black and white anime. Uh, it's a really off anime to get into as a lot of people dislike that anime more than any other seasons of the anime and I guess I can see it now why that would be a very good reason but I still still hold that anime dear to myself because that's how I got into Pokemon um, the only reason why I decided to start with Pokemon is because my friend got me Pokemon figurine set it was for the Tepig line for my birthday and uh, you know how kids are selfish, I told him that I didn't even like Pokemon and for some reason I felt bad because you know kids don't usually have a, a sense to feel bad but I did so I decided to start watching the Pokemon anime and I got really hooked so I've been into Pokemon ever since. When did you first get into Pokemon? 1999 give or take. I was pretty much around during the first era of Pokemon or Gen 1. Uh, just before yellow version I think or was it just after yellow version 
No, 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 no. It was before. It was before yellow. I remember because I had the green Game Boy Color, and I got the red version because I heard there was a green version in it, but anyways. <laughs> I first got into Pokemon when I got my first copy of Pokemon Sapphire along with my first Game Boy Advanced, and I got it when I was like seven or eight or something like that. And I got that along with my brother who got Pokemon Emerald in his own Game Boy Advanced. And we played a lot together. We had a lot of fun together. And there's a lot of points in that game where I struggled and everything, and I, you know, use my friends to try and see what I could do to get further in the game. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's why I first got into Pokemon. Honestly, I've been into Pokemon as long as I can remember. As my living memory, I've loved Pokemon. I had um, family members who worked over in Asia back in the mid to late 90s or the mid to early 90s. And I remember one birthday of mine, I must have been very young, uh, must have been two or three. Um, they brought me back, I think it was a Pikachu and a Meowth toy. And I absolutely loved these toys. Like I adored them. They were these cute little monsters. They weren't really a thing over in, um, in the West at the time. So uh, I just thought it was really cool to have those. And then I remember the games came out a couple of years later, as well as the, um, the cartoon, the anime on TV. And ever since then, I've loved Pokemon. I used to play the games all the time after school. I remember like I couldn't wait to go home and, and watch the cartoon or like go to a local video store and rent a video. So, you know, um, that kind of dates how long I've been into Pokemon. My first game was Pokemon Red. I've, I've loved the toys. I've loved collecting the cards, basically everything Pokemon since then. Oh, I got into it as a kid. All my friends were into it, still are, but I think I, started watching around the original series. Uh, my first game was either Fire Red or Ruby. I don't remember which one, but I do remember being on the Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, fun fact, I actually have one of those little, um... So, Nintendo, so Nintendo they came, they released Pokemon episodes into little cartridges uh, for the Game Boy. They had like uh, some of the Johto episodes on there. Uh, one of them including a Sweet Sweet Coon episode, and the other I just remember Tot Totodile drowning. But um, yeah, those were so yeah, uh, Gen two, Gen Gen one, Gen two is when I was watching, but Gen three is when I started playing. Um, I was about ten or eleven uh, when I started playing the red version on Game Boy. Uh, really loved it, um, especially the cheat code to get uh, Missing Ohm. Um, and the infinite amount of Master Balls and Rare Candy, all that fun stuff. Uh, but then about two years after that, the animated show came out. Really loved watching it and just kind of seeing a different side to it. Uh, then I started collecting the cards back in 99, 2000. Fell out, played, played football, um, some other sports. And then about three years ago, um, after playing a, a year or so of Pokemon Go, really came back into uh, the trading card game and it's like I never left, just fell in love with it even more and I'm enjoying it even more now to this day. I don't quite remember when I got into Pokemon exactly. I do know it was around the time that Diamond and Pearl had just come out. I didn't play the game yet, I did it later, but we did watch the anime and listen to music. I had some Pokemon cards, we made Fakemon. So around 2006, 2007 is when I really got into Pokemon as a franchise. For the games, that was definitely a little later. I bought a copy of Diamond for my neighbor. I don't remember when that was, but that was when I first played a Pokemon game. But it was definitely before Black and White came out, but I can't remember when exactly I bought it. But it was around the time that Sinnoh had come out, Black and White not yet. I first got into Pokemon when I was about four or five years old, and I went actually to, at the time, Zellers, when Zellers was still a thing here in Canada. Um, and I saw the box for Pokemon Yellow on the shelves and I just knew I wanted it. I didn't know what it was, but I knew I wanted it just by the picture on the box. So I got it for my birthday that year with my first Game Boy Color, and I've been a diehard fan ever since Pokemon Yellow. Oh, I got into Pokemon, yeah, right from the start. Um, I'm a 90s baby, so it came out when I was in school. Um, I can't remember if I played the games first or watched the anime first. I imagine I watched the anime first, but yeah, so in the 90s, 99 did Pokemon come out in the UK. Um, but yeah, from, from the get-go, I've been I've been in Pokemon since then, pretty much. <laughs> so, so, OG fan right here. <laughs> it was in 1998, late end of 1998, like November, December, and um, the Pokemon anime was uh, just starting on TV, and um, 
the games released around that same time too. And then in 1999, start of it, the card game came out. It, it was the big Pokemon boom of the late 90s, and Pokemon was everywhere. It was the cool thing that all the kids were into. And uh, yeah, I loved it. I collected the cards, I played the video games, I watched the show every morning. It, it was my favorite thing at the time, and sort of still is to this day. I mean, I do have other interests, but Pokemon's always been there for me. I would have to say the way I got into Pokemon was definitely the anime. From watching Pokemon Diamond and Pearl to Black and White to X and Y, I've always been with the anime. From my channel to when I was a kid, I've always loved the anime and thought the anime was a really unappreciated part of the whole Pokemon universe. While the manga is really shown, I feel a lot of people misplay how much the anime introduced many people to the Pokemon series as a whole. A lot of people got introduced through the anime and continue to make Pokemon content to this day. And I always have a soft spot for those three seasons, especially for introducing me into this Pokemon world. That's how I got into Pokemon, but I remember gaining Pokemon cards after this. I got a Raichu card, which was definitely a fond memory and definitely helped me cement myself deeper into Pokemon. But yeah, I would have to say it's the TCG and it's the anime that got me into Pokemon the most. I wouldn't say it's game. I got the games a lot later. Well, I'm uh, a little bit on the older side of some Pokemon trainers. So I've been playing very since the beginning. I've been playing since the beginning, excuse me, I don't know why I botched that. So I've been playing Pokemon since the beginning. I had a Game Boy Color uh, Pokemon edition. I had uh, blue, red, and yellow, played that. I was only like four or five years old. So I would basically just get a Nitto King and just go through the game uh, pretty easily. Uh, and then Gen 2 came out and then Gen 3 with the remakes, that's kind of really got me into Pokemon and like really getting creative with building my team and, you know, deciding on special attacks, physical attacks, type coverage, all that kind of stuff. That got me more into strategy as I was like nine or 10 years old. So I understood everything a little bit better, but I first got into Pokemon straight from the beginning, collecting cards, you know, going to McDonald's or Burger King or whatever fast food chain had the uh, Pokemon toys, watching the movies, watching the anime and of course playing all the games that we love. I first got into Pokemon a long, long time ago. Uh, me and my family are massive fans of the series. Uh, I watched it all growing up and uh, still guilty of watching it sometimes now, to be honest. Uh, but I've played all the games and, uh, you know, even now into my 20s, I'm such a massive fan. And uh, the now they've brought it uh, onto the big screen on the Nintendo Switch. It's just going from strength to strength. All the updates for Pokemon Go, it's just awesome. I'm so happy that they've kept the franchise going because for me, you know, it's nostalgic. It's uh, just my favorite of all time, really. The first game that I got into, I remember being nine and I was at my brother's birthday party and there was some kid at the party with the Game Boy and I had no idea what he was doing. And I asked and he was playing um, the original red version on Game Boy. So I, I was like, back, I guess back then it would be backseat gaming now. I just watched and I was super enthralled with what he was doing and like I was super interested in the whole collect them all, um, you know, mindset of things. So that's what I asked for for my birthday that year and I um, stuck with it ever since. I don't think I missed the generation and. Yeah, if it wasn't for that party though, I probably would have never found Pokemon. So definitely started with, with uh, Fire Red. 